Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is a message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It is an energy reading, so please take it where and how it resonates in your life. This is your reading. Feel free to comment below and share your experiences. I love that kind of feedback. Um, if you're looking for personal reading, I do do those. Just check out my website, bornwithoutboundariestarot.com to make your own arrangements over there. You can do everything on Online. There's a new video that comes out for Capricorn and all 12 zodiac signs every single week, Capricorn. So please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you get notified of all the brand new messages that are coming up for you. This is a timeless message. And so the way that it works is that this comes to you when you're ready to receive it. It comes to you when you're open and receptive to the messages. You basically call it in to you. And so I highly recommend you check out this whole channel. There's over 3,000 messages for you. Anything that calls to you is yours, whether or not it's related to your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign. It really just matters where it's resonating at the time. It could be somebody else's sign. You know what I'm saying? Um, so uh, it's, it's really up to what's calling you. Let's begin, shall we? Um, one thing I do want to make an announcement really quick is that I have now added a lot of value to the BWOB membership here. The membership is a channel membership. You can join just, the, the link is down below. The link is in the comment section below. It's also on the, the, the front of the channel. You just click join. BWOB membership, I have added all of the extendeds access unlimited to every single extended that's ever been created. So you will be able to have access to them unlimited instead of having to buy or rent one. Um, it's, a huge, uh, it's a huge value to the channel. I appreciate it greatly. So I think it's gonna really add a lot of value to the BWOB membership. If you're a fan of the extendeds, I highly encourage you to go and sign up and ask your friends if they wanna sign up too. We're trying to grow and expand. Capricorn, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, things are things are slow, but we're gonna get a little bit more. Capricorn, what do you need to hear? Okay, there's a mask coming off or something starting to become very clear to you. The reason I know this is because the only thing that has flipped upright to me, so spirit isn't is intent on bringing my intention to it is life is a mystery. So there's a mystery that's being solved or something that is being revealed to you this week. Hopefully that provides a lot of productivity. We have eight here. So there, it could be value being revealed. Something that maybe you hadn't hadn't seen that was valuable before an opportunity that you didn't even know was there or simply value that had been masked or disguised and maybe somebody is starting to see your value as well there is definitely an aha never realized that before kind of energy here let's turn over we have a bunch of cards take the lead so this definitely does put you in the leadership role or in the initiative role it's also saying that you're very in tuned and receptive to messages that are coming through to you. You have insights that others may not, so you are ahead in this sense. So don't look for external validation right now, Capricorn. Look for trusting your instincts and intuitions. You know more than other people know. And I think maybe what's gonna start being revealed is the fact that you are a capable leader, somebody that they definitely want on their side. We have sometimes life stings coming out right dead center. So there's maybe then is there's 
this card is either an indication that there's there's an irritation that's coming something that's been nagging you um maybe that's what's being revealed like you know it's been nagging you and now you know why so it could answer some questions to an uncomfortable situation or something that makes you uncomfortable is revealed so we're gonna have to dig deeper into um clarifying that but let's get the left and the right watch your words that's interesting in the past something being said or something being repeated maybe even something being promised so hold on and then we have now is a lucky time coming out in the future so that's really where i wanted to uh, get to so look at look at all the the cards here just for a quick review watch your words being very careful about what was being said taking the lead maybe even being particular and being the nag because you wanted to expose something or or be paid attention to and ultimately i think you're going to be happy that you did because it's going to lead to some sort of prosperity or growth in the not too distant future maybe by the end of this week so let's get into tarot <sighs> capricorn This usually means a new beginning or a new opportunity, being able to plant a seed or it being a very um, a fruitful time to plant a seed, very fertile soil. We have Queen of Wands. I think there's a new beginning here about something that you're extremely confident in, or this is a message that says, whatever this new opportunity was, you can be extremely confident with this new opportunity. This is definitely a time to shine and to allow people to see your confidence and uh, as well as your competence, the fact that the two are married together. Um, be forward. Um, don't be afraid. There's going to be a lot of courage here for you to take initiative on something new. Um, Queen of Wands. This could also be a new beginning if you're being really literal. For some of you, a new beginning with a Queen of Wands, which would be a feminine fire sign adult. It doesn't have to be male or female, but feminine. Now, the feminine... I actually went into discussing this with you guys last week. Um, the feminine energy is something that initiates and gives and puts itself out there. The masculine is something that has been established and that everybody else recognizes. So when you're in your feminine energy, you recognize and you are creating. You know that you know what or what is a good investment for you. You can see it. So there is some insight that you have here and God wants you to know you, you're you getting these little spidey senses that you know something is a good investment or you knew someone is a good investment. It is confirmed they are absolutely a good investment and I think that will strengthen over time and you will get more certain, especially after you have the courage to, you know, be fearless and be bold and you will become more certain of this over the course of this week and see just how right you were and how bountiful this is. There is an opening up of prosperity or multiplying your current resources, maybe even in some ways, recognizing their value or recognizing value where it wasn't before this could be a new attraction as well if you're looking for a more personal romantic interpretation of this um let's go into a moon card i really want to understand the moon's position here there is i believe a full moon coming up right after the christmas holiday if you celebrate we have okay you are very close to achieving your goal and so you can feel something coming into reality right now and you are absolutely correct and conclusions are within reach so things will be made certain and will be closed up and you won't be hanging on for that long in other words listen 
you're already feeling, I don't know what this is, but you're already feeling something is right. You're already feeling that you're right about, maybe I should say that, that you're right about something, Capricorn. It's saying that within this week, you're going to go from almost there to absolutely certain. So you're, there are confirmations that are coming in. So you're going you're gonna to have your notions um, proven or that you're going to have your notions confirmed. So let's get into what these notions are about. I still feel like it's something to do with what's a good investment. Somehow you see things. That maybe you have some insights <laughs> maybe you have some some tips that you got that nobody else got or maybe just your experience maybe um this is watch your words this sense of maybe you kept it to yourself or you heard it somewhere that you didn't really want to share or maybe you overheard it somewhere so you needed something to be validated and you wanted it to be validated and you were probably very nick pit nitpicky with before you got your hopes up wanting it for itself to prove itself worthy of your attention it is proving itself worthy of your attention and you're going to know exactly you're going to know exactly that and you're going to have that confirmation by the end of this week so i'm going to try to get right now what is this something about a taurus something about an industry or something about um Something that's already been established could also be a job, a position, or a marriage. Something that is firmed up, something that is reliable, and something that is dependable could also be directly something about finances, something about value, okay? Really being able to conclude how much something is worth and if it's worth sustaining. It does appear that it is because the uh, Hierophant is upright. Um, and then we have this coming out into the future. So this is the Six of Cups. Usually has to do with reminiscence. Usually has to do with um, joy and, and being playful, more like a kid. Something that was traditionally something that was enjoyable. Or maybe there was a connection here with somebody that you've known from the past. Maybe you had an inkling that somebody was married from the past and that would confirm that they are or that there was still something that had been maintained and worth or worth maintaining because of this connection or through this connection from the past, maybe an old friend. And then we have way in the future, death. This is setting you up for some sort of rebirth. So something that, it's almost like you can feel like something is building that you've already been involved in and you didn't want to overreact but ultimately now especially this has got to do with somebody connecting to you that you already know reconnecting with them there is an opportunity that is re-emerging or now growing and ex expanding it's like it's like it's developed into something new maybe even developed into something more advanced or quote unquote better um, but I like this card. For me, it never indicates death. It actually indicates a rebirth, like coming back up from something that was buried while well, it wasn't dead. This is a confirmation that it wasn't buried. It was planted. We have these two cards on deck with each other. This is when you plant the seed and this is when it rises. So there is that sense of something was not buried here. Something was planted and now it's coming up or it's being resurrected. Now we're gonna get deeper into exactly what this is. Hang with me. What is coming up or being resurrected? I feel like this is the conduit for it. This energy of it's coming through an old friend, an old colleague, maybe through a home, somebody from your home or from where you were raised or where you grew up. Um, but what is it? What is it that is making a comeback? If this is literal, it could be a Scorpio that's coming back into your life. <laughs> um, what is it? Could it be something toxic? I'm not getting that vibe. What is it that is resurrecting? I want to be clear for Capricorn. What is it that is resurrecting? The Emperor. So your own sense of self, your own sense of independence, your own sense of stick to it and fight and um, 
like stick to it and uh, uh, fight and it's it's worth moving forward also your sense of authority this could be what's resurrecting is somebody from the past that was a leader in whatever industry that you were working in um, maybe even a need or a call to leadership itself damn capricorn it's almost like <laughs> You're just you're get you're getting back up in the saddle of something. Let, let's get one of these cards. I love this deck. Okay, this feels like home to you. I'll show you the card that confirms it. But this is something that you feel really comfortable in. Maybe that you've always felt really comfortable in, or the place where you actually live. That's all that came out. No place like home. So this has the the home level of familiarity to you to you about it um maybe something about your house that's true um an investment or something about your home um but i feel like it's more capricorn you feel at home here but this is the, the energy of home as well so this is a play at, at the very least a place or a position maybe a job it, uh, that you feel so comfortable in is like this is where I belong maybe even being called to return to a former position of leadership or something that you had done before because you're so good at it or you're so familiar with it let's dig deeper and I hope you can join me for the extended I'll see you there guys <laughs>